Okay, YouTube got the solar panels up on the garden shed roof. So this is the bracket I made. Kind of got a compound angle. It comes up here straight and then it has to turn 45 degrees or twist. And then it also has to bend back about 15 degrees. I got that to hold the corner of the frame that holds the panels right there. And then that's bolted in. It's got a steel plate behind there. So that's pretty rigid. And then I made the uh, four feet 3D printed those parts and I just have them silicone down which I think should be good enough to hold it in place. Heavy storms around here come from like this angle. This is facing uh, southeast right here and then south is straight in there. So our main storms come from either the south from the southwest, south or southeast like that. So all of that force is pushing the panel back and this bracket should provide all the back and forth support and then the feet are basically stuck down to provide the up and down support. So I'll see how it does. If it holds, that's good. I don't want to make this super permanent because if I ever have to take this off to uh, do any more repair on the roof I'd like it to be able to come off fairly easily and I wasn't too thrilled about drilling a bunch of new holes in the nicely sealed <laughs> roof up here so, and I just have the uh, charge controller over here temporarily I'm going to be running the solar panel wires in through here and then I'll probably mount the charge controller inside the shed up here. Then I'll have to figure out a place where I can hang the uh, jump start pack. But I was just checking things out, make sure the thing is charging. And down here, we've got the jump start battery, and we're getting a, still getting a little bit of charge. It's like 13.2 volts. So that guy's still uh, getting a little bit. You can see the you got the LED lights up, so this is a fused uh, lighter plug there. So I think I'm actually just going to use this jump start pack this way. And that way uh, it'll charge through this lighter plug. And then if I need to uh, grab this to use it for something, all I got to do is pull out the lighter plug and take it. And then my idea for the fans with the inside of the shed, I probably have to come out here. Uh, this is all really thick structural. There, you got the doors here, so I'll probably put a fan either on this side or on the other side over there. And then I'll put a similar fan in back. But I may have to get some louvers because, like I say, the storm direction here is this way so you get a lot of wind blown rain so maybe I can get like a dryer vent I guess if you get like a four inch dryer vent I could put a hundred millimeter fan behind that something like that and uh, run that off of here and just to show you the charge controller real quick so I'll probably do a little uh, review on this later you've got the solar plus and minus on the bottom left in the bottom right there's a fan plus and minus run a 12 volt fan and then you've got the battery plus and minus up there 3 amp fuse and then in the middle there is a thermostat switch so let's see I don't know if, if it's warm enough to turn on yeah there you go you can see the little green LED is just faintly on so this, this is perfect. I mean, this has the thermostat, charge controller, and the fan output. So that, that's exactly what I need in here. I need a battery charger, and I need a cooling fan, and then off the battery I can run some lights. That is my whole solar system right here. I got the uh, panels, the charge controller, thermostat, fan uh, driver. And this was a, a kit from Harbor Freight back in, I think it was maybe 2004. This was what they called their solar greenhouse cooling fan. So they had a 
the two 15-watt uh, panels, the charge controller, and then a, a large 12-volt fan, which I'm actually using in my home heating system. That still works, but I, I don't need that much fan in here. I mean, this is only, uh, I think this shed is 8 by 10 feet. And with the white roof, white roof coating, it stays fairly cool, but on a hot day it does get a little bit warm inside so if I could blow some air in the back and pull it out the front here I think that'll work pretty good and then I think I'm going to reuse my old uh, solar powered light that I had in here this was the solar panel for the original light mounted on top I think I'll be able to use that bracket and put a motion sensor light out here or I may just uh, add a switch here on the bottom, just have it switchable. So I'll have a light here to shine over the backyard. And then I think I can reuse the old light that used to come with this, which has died, but I'm going to retrofit that with some LEDs. It was a CFL and kind of quit working on me. so. I'm going to reuse this to mount an outside light. I'm going to reuse the original CFL light and make it into LED. So yeah, I'll get all this stuff inside tomorrow. i got to kind of clean up inside the shed and figure out where I can put everything. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the uh, solar panels up on the roof. I think that'll work. And yeah, we got light on here till just about 4 p.m. I'll do an update when I get a chance to work on this some more, and I'll try putting some videos over here on the side you might be interested in. Any questions, post up in the comment section below, and as always, thanks for watching.